This former Catholic school now houses some unorthodox takes on crucifixion, invoking fast food, armed conflict and this crucifix submerged in the artist's urine. I think it's very important. I think the collection uh, could even be more shocking. I, I think there could be even more content that uh, could go even more extreme. Extreme content that is on display here includes erotic illustrations by Picasso, among 200 works in Spain's Museum of Forbidden Art. Museum director Rosa Rodrigo is one of the people who worked to get a room for artwork deemed too hot to handle. With their creations, artists invite us to push new boundaries. But it was society that told them we don't accept this, either for economic or social reasons, also because of gender or sexual issues and so many more. This car was banned from an exhibition in Spain for its imagery of former dictator Francisco Franco. And in Mexico, there were calls to burn this painting of revolutionary Emiliano Zapata. One critic telling local media, instead of high heels, he should have been shown with big balls. But while these controversies centre around figures from the past, the museum's visitors say this is a present-day issue. And these are things that, sadly, we see coming back these days. Everything you can see here is currently also being censored. In Portugal, we're also having types of cancel culture. We also see that over there. Some take it well, but some can't deal with certain types of information. Some hope the museum could change sensibilities. It should come here with, with a broad mind, I think. You have to be open to all the objects and to all the uh, things exhibited. I hope that more people can become open-minded by experiencing a museum like this. The Artworks Collector says displaying the pieces together lowers their level of scandal, making each one less extreme in context. Lachlan Patrick, ABC News.